This episode of today's iconic moment in New York sports history is presented by Tri-State Cadillac Dealers. April 3rd, 1966, Tom Seaver signs with the New York Mets. In 1965, pitcher Tom Seaver was drafted by the Los Angeles Dodgers, but when the Dodgers refused to meet his asking price of $50,000, he signed a contract with the Atlanta Braves after the team selected him in the first round of the secondary draft. But MLB Commissioner William Eckert voided that contract because the league had a rule in place that a college player couldn't sign if his intercollegiate season had already started. And at that time, Seaver's USC team had played two exhibition games. The Braves were fined and prohibited from signing Seaver for the next three years. Three teams offered to match the Braves' offer, the Philadelphia Phillies, Cleveland, and the Mets. Those three names were entered into a hat, and the name drawn was the New York Mets. The next day, Seaver signed with the team and made his Mets debut on April 13, 1967. And despite playing for a last place team, he was named the National League Rookie of the Year. Over his MLB career, he would play 12 of his 20 seasons with the Mets. In his third season with New York, he won his first of three Cy Young Awards and led the 1969 Miracle Mets on an improbable run to a World Series title. Seaver made 10 All-Star teams and had four 20-win seasons with the Mets. In 1988, the Mets retired his number and he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1992. Tom Seaver passed away in 2020, but was immortalized with a statue outside of City Field in April of 2022. He's arguably the best pitcher the Mets have ever had, and he helped turn a group of, quote, lovable losers into formidable foes. That's a line that's actually written on his Hall of Fame plaque.